and many special guests that you will be seeing over the course of this evening as we celebrate the many accomplishments of our graduates. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the land that we find ourselves on. Halton, as we know it today, is rich in history and modern traditions of many First Nations and the Métis. From the Anishinaabe to the Atawandron, the Haudenosaunee and the Métis, these lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped in Indigenous history. As we gather tonight on these treaty lands, we have the responsibility to honour and respect the four directions, land, waters, plants, animals, ancestors that walk before us, and all the wonderful elements of creation that exist. We would like to acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for sharing their traditional territory with us. Our first guest speaker this evening is our principal, Miss Jackie Pesey, who has a few words for our graduates. Well, I cannot believe it is June already, and it is time for graduation for my grade eights. Unbelievable. It was just like yesterday when you arrived in September. Probably a little scared of this whole high school scenario, but you did very, very well. Surviving it, making friends, having trials and tribulations, learning some stuff, and you are four credits into high school already. And so when you come to us in September for grade nine, you're going to be my resident experts. You're going to be pros at this. And I want to congratulate you officially on job well done. We are so proud of you here at CK. We are proud of our graduates. Thank you for those kind words and um, special message from Miss PC. Before we um, dive into all of the awards from, from this year, I just wanna say thank you to all of the parents and the guardians who supported your students and, and put them into our care. We really enjoyed our time with them, both in the classroom and in distance learning. And we just really wanted to take a moment to say thank you. Our first award this evening is for the LEAP Ambassador. And this award goes to the student who's displayed excellence in their relationships with staff and students alike, who has shown a real commitment to learning and improving in all subject areas. Stanley Morris has earned this award for many reasons. Stan is always willing to participate in any activity, even if it's laughing at my lame jokes. He's comfortable connecting with his classmates and teachers during any situation, and he has really grown into a leader. He exudes a peaceful and calm demeanor. He has also worked incredibly hard to make sure he was always doing his best work. I am so pleased to present this award to him and to hear his speech. Hello everyone, I am Stanley Moore and I am here to share some highlights of our year with you. My first memories of LEAP include when I first saw the LEAP class, it looked fun because of all the stuff inside the room. I had never seen a classroom with so many things like a fridge, a rocking chair, and a couch. My favorite place to hang out is my desk because it has all my stuff on it and every desk has a rocking chair. One of our big field trips of the year was Mansfield Outdoor Center. My highlight for Mansfield was hanging out with my friends. I liked playing ping pong with them. My favorite field trip was the escape room because I like escape rooms and I want to do more. Our theme for the escape room was ancient Egypt. There were a lot of bugs you, that you had to find. We also had to throw a ball into a snake's mouth. When it comes to our classes, I like tech with Mr. Moore because my favorite class is woodwork because I like making and cutting things. And I really, really liked making my stereo. There are a lot of important things we learned this year. I learned to stand up for myself when there is a problem and use my voice. And I am getting good grades when I finish my work. I think everyone learned something. We are grade nine students next year. I am looking forward to seeing my friends again next year. I'm also looking forward to having my friends from Sam Sherrett join CK. 
Finally, I would like to thank Miss Hyde for always being nice to me and helpful, and Mr. Moore because he's nice and funny and he lets us be creative. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks, Stan. That was a wonderful speech, and I loved hearing those kind words at the end for both Mr. Moore and I. And I'm, I know I'm speaking for Mr. Moore, but we, we have found it such a delight to teach you and be kind and creative for you. Our next award is the LEAP Most Resourceful Award. And this award goes to the student who has exhibited clever ways to overcome challenges. Arben is clearly the most resourceful student as he found many ways to problem solve in the face of adversity, whether it was finding creative ways to complete his work or solutions that helped with keeping Chromebooks charged. Arben definitely demonstrated great resourcefulness throughout the year. Way to go, Arben. Um, on the heels of Arben's award, we have the next award, which is the Informa Information Technology Award. The IT award goes to the student who has exemplified an expertise in computers and willingly offers help to those in need of IT support. Alex is the recipient this year, as he was always first to volunteer his technical expertise whenever things would go awry. Way to go, Alex. We're so proud of you. We have a special guest to present this next award. Mr. Tassiv is presenting the Phys Ed Award, and here he is. Hey, it's Tassif hanging here during quarantine. This year's Phys Ed Award goes to Hayden. You always had your gym clothes, didn't miss a class, completed the daily circuits, put on headphones, and went to work in the weight room. Maybe by grade 12, you'll be hitting Tassif weight. Competed in all the weekly sports challenges. We had football, baseball, and frisbee. Participated well in the mat room and brought good discussion in health class. You're always willing to help out and always reminded me about getting Tim Hortons donuts and beverages for the class. Congratulations on this accomplishment. Way to go, Hayden. We're very proud of you. The next award this evening is for the Most Improved Student Award. And this award goes to the student who has shown the most dramatic turnaround in all areas, both academic and non-academic. Ian, or Ian has grown a lot this year, both physically and intellectually. I'm so proud of him for the positive growth he's demonstrated in his relationships, both with his peers and his teachers. He has shown a firm commitment to completing his work to the best of his ability, especially during distance learning. And has also exhibited leadership capabilities that I look forward to seeing him develop further in the years ahead. Keep up the positive momentum, Ion. We're so proud of you. Our next award is the Math Award. And Mr. Middleborough is here to speak on the behalf of the Math Department. The Leap Numeracy Award goes to a student who has demonstrated excellence as well as improvement in their numeracy class. It was clear to both his teachers that this particular student deserved to be recognized for this award. The student regularly demonstrated great work ethic and commitment to improving their numeracy skills and knowledge base in math class. This year's winner had a keen curiosity and ability to reason through problems when they presented themselves. It's my pleasure to present this year's Leap Numeracy Award to Lucas Ricketts. Congratulations. Way to go, Lucas. Our next award following on the heels of numeracy is literacy. I love this one because of course I'm the English teacher. Our Leap Literacy Award goes to a student who has demonstrated excellence as well as improvement in their literacy class throughout the year. Josh is a wonderful communicator through the written and spoken word. Even if he was asking, why are we doing this? He was always dedicated to understanding and putting forth his very best effort. I'm so proud to present the Literacy Award to Josh. Way to go. We now come to the Tech Award and I'm going to ask um, Mr. Moore to come and present. Hey LEAP graduates, I've missed you all dearly. It's good to see you guys from a distance. I'm here to 
announced the winner of the LEAP Technological Studies Award. The award goes to the student who demonstrated the most proficiency and growth in specific subject area of hospitality and construction. This student demonstrated a keen interest and an exceptionally strong ability in tech this year. We can see him excelling, developing his skills and technology throughout his high school journey. He brought it day in and day out, whether it was cooking or baking, whether it was woodworking or even some movie making. He is a natural leader and an excellent, excellent student. Now, the winner. Let's get to it here. I've got it in here. Let's take a look. Okay. Uh, need my reading glasses. Ah, that's better. Stan the man. Stanley, you were an absolute joy to teach this year. You were excellent. You have a fantastic work ethic and you have a great, great future ahead of you in tech and in anything you put your mind to. Congratulations, my friend. It was a privilege to teach you and it was a privilege to learn from you. Take care and have a great summer. Way to go, Stan. And thank you, Mr. Moore, for that very dramatic presentation of the award. I do find it slightly ironic that um, when giving the tech award, we had a few technical difficulties. However, we persevered. And now we are on to the next award, which is the art award. The art award goes to the student who has demonstrated creativity and artistic ability in all of their courses, but particularly during our art therapy sessions with Stephen. Danae is definitely deserving of this award as her work is always creative and exhibits her keen artistic eye. When sitting in class listening to the lesson, I could always count on Danae to be drawing or coloring, which clearly helped her remain focused and on task. Her work always looked amazing. And I know when I was creating my art with Stephen, it never looked near as good as when Danae completed hers. Congratulations, Danae. We have one last award for the evening, and it is our GLS General Learning Strategies Award. Now this award goes to the student who has effectively utilized the learning strategies taught during the year to stay organized, who has demonstrated initiative, responsibility, collaborative skills, independent work, and self-regulation. Alex has certainly earned this award, particularly as he demonstrated all of these skills during the challenge of distance learning. He continued to remain engaged, submitted his work, and communicated regularly with his teachers. Well done, Alex. And we have one other special guest who would love to say a special word to all of you. Mr. Daly, take it away. Hi, everyone. Watching the awards that were presented to each of our LEAP students was a pleasure to see. All of our award winners are well-deserved. I hope it tells each of you that we have recognized your strengths and growth this past year. The year didn't end as we had hoped, but in speaking with our LEAP teachers, I still feel confident that you are as prepared as you need to be as you begin grade nine in September. I wanted to highlight some brief comments on each of our grade eight graduates. Stanley. I can picture your sly smile now when you found out you were selected valedictorian to represent your class. I look forward to you embracing this honor and to reflect on what it means to you and how it can impact you moving forward. Well done, Stanley. You're certainly on your way. Alex, I have really enjoyed our reflective chats throughout this past year. I have valued your ability to see both sides of any issue and reflect on who you are and how you want to be. I really feel this past year has been a real positive to get you ready for this next step in grade nine. I look forward to continuing to be an ear to listen. Josh, I have enjoyed your sense of humor and quick wit. You have a heart of gold and you are just beginning to see what your potential is. I've started to really see your patience and resilience grow throughout this year. Keep this growth moving forward. I am. I have also enjoyed the many discussions we have had throughout this year. You have been able to be vulnerable and honest every time we spoke. I have appreciated your honesty. You have always shown you want to be a positive and impactful student with those around you. Danae, 
You have that little shy smile and all-knowing look whenever I spoke with you. You know exactly what is happening around you. You made it through a year with all those boys around you, but you did it so well. I value your strong sense of self. This is something that can continue to develop your strong sense of character. Arben, you have a quiet demeanor, but that didn't stop you from taking risks and challenges this year. One example of many was that you joined our wrestling team, which was full of grade nine to 12s. This was a real testament in your ability to take chances and get out of your comfort zone. Lucas, you always have that smile as you know what is always going around you too. I have appreciated your calm and steady Eddie presence in the classroom. This was such a positive part of the classroom culture that we needed. It helped to bring a measure of confidence and trust in all that you do. And you modeled it perfectly for those around you. Hayden, I'm so glad we were able to have you join our program as you were originally going to be at M.M. Robinson. We also had many opportunities to talk about life and school. Your deep thinking, sense of humor, empathy, and compassion for others is what I remember most about each and every conversation we had. I look forward to having many more with you next year. Congratulations to our students, our graduates. And thank you to each of our families for your insight, support, trust, and willingness to have open conversations with us. It made all the difference to know that we can have those conversations even when they're difficult, you always knew we had the best intentions to help meet the needs of your son or daughter. Enjoy this upcoming summer break. I hope we can get back into the classroom in September to continue the work we started here. Take care and congratulations again. Thanks, Mr. Daly. He had a lot of amazing things to say about each and every one of you and all of it is so very true. It's been a very special year. And at the end of tonight's program, we have a special presentation of, that the students have put together of um, some of their memories. And of course, one of my favorite parts of this presentation are their baby pictures or their toddler photos, just to see how much they have changed over the year. We'll start here. Hold one moment, we're having technical difficulties. Here we go. We'll start with Stan. Uh, Josh. Now we're on to Lucas.
Now we're seeing Alex as a baby. Danae, what a beautiful baby. Hayden. Urban.
and that is our presentation. Now some of the slides, I know um, Hayden, your baby picture didn't show up. So what I will do is I will definitely um, share that presentation with all of you so you can look at it at your own time and your own pace. But thank you so much for participating in our LEAP graduation celebration this evening. I look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow and giving you your awards in person. Have a great night and thank you again for an awesome year. Congratulations.